What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Dominaria draft on Magic Online. I've been sick for the past few days. Uh, you may have noticed there were no videos that went up yesterday, I believe, Monday. And uh, if I sound sick, that's why. Also, if I cough, I'll try to cough off here. But I, there might be some sniffling or some coughing or some residual sinusy related ailments. And I just want to prepare you guys for the worst. So here we are. We got a Tiana, and we got a Blessed Light. I think those are probably our two best options here. Chad, you hate draft, though. What are you going to do? I don't like this guy at all. Sage seems solid. This guy seems terrible. I had this guy once, and then I just had, like, no artifacts that I really wanted to get rid of. So... I feel like if I'm going to take a white card, it's Tiana. Because this is boring. I'm going to take Tiana. I don't care about Fall of Thran, unfortunately. Auras or equipments is what we're looking for. I'm just going to take this fiery intervention here. There's also a cast down and an Elfheim Druid, which are both very, very good. But, and an Eviscerate. This pack is removal, removal centric. <clears throat> See right there, like that. I'm going to take this Fire Intervention. Maybe this Gitu Chronicler comes back. There's enough good cards that this could come back. Uh, well... I mean, playing cards like a kid. Yeah, you know, I, I get you. I hear you. Uh, it's probably Glider. I like Glider better than I like Disciple, but maybe it's Disciple if we're playing the... Uh... I created one of the best creatures in the draft ever the other day when I put Curator's Ward on Saros Wings and Dub on Sentinel of the Pearl Trident and forced my opponent to instant scoop. It was 6-6 six, six, Hexproof Flying Vigilance. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's not. That's not bad. I may play Ollie's deck. I do have it saved. Another fire intervention. We can also take this frenzied rage. I think intervention is better, and I think we're more likely to get these later. As you can probably imagine. Goblin Barrage is probably better than intervention here though, right? Yeah, I think so anyway. Haphazard and bombardment. Someone tricked me into taking this last time. I don't think it was that great. It might be the pick here. I don't think it was as good. It's like, they were like, it's really good, take it. And I'm like, it's six mana. It may kill one thing that you really want killed, is what I meant. Because it's gonna, it's always going to kill one thing. It's always going to kill three things, presuming, presuming you live, assuming you live three turns after you cast it. It might just be wall, but that doesn't seem great either. It might be seismic shift. None of these picks are great. Let's be real. I'll take this because I think it's better than the other two options. Wow, we could have the, the multiple Fall of Thran deck. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, I agree, Josh. I think it is a bit, bit too slow. I'm just going to take the two drop here. Fire Elemental is very big. I like having at least one Radiant Lightning. I also don't know if I care about having a Fire Elemental. I do like a Glider, though. I'll pick up the Glider and look at having a Radiant... Uh, radiant. Oh, well, there you go. All right, we figured it out. I think I'm going to take the Memorial here, though. That's probably just better for us. Yeah, I could see Haphazard Bombardment being better in the uh, red-green deck. That would make sense to me. Where are all my enchantments? Where are my enchantments at? I feel like I haven't actually opened in on Sarah's wings yet. Too bad I'm heading to bed soon. Well, at least I can get you drafted. Yeah, super many. Appreciate it, buddy. Also, this will be on YouTube as well. So, oh look, the perfect land. I'm gonna take this over radiant radiant lightning here. We can we can get another radiant lightning, and the land is good. So. <coughs> Mm. 
Bombardment is fine in decks that can bounce it and recap. Who has time to do that, though? You're going to go turn six, Bombardment. Turn seven, kill a second thing. Turn eight, kill a third thing. Bounce it on turn eight. Replay it on turn nine. And then, like, wait three more. That seems like... That's a lot of work. I never said it was good. Okay. Oh, okay, you did say fine. That's fair. That is fair. What's up, Sarah? We did pass three light and radiant lightnings pack one. But I like all the alternatives that we took over them. Radiant Lightning is a sideboard, great sideboard card. Um, but I think Memorial and Cliff are better main deck cards. So I have no problem taking those. Oh, and the Chronicler did come back. So did the Fall of Thran. This card's not good, right? Yeah, I'm going to take the Chronicle. We have Barrage, Fire Intervention. This guy's not good, but he's not... I don't think he's unplayable. If you have a 2-4 for 4, it's still fine. And you can usually navigate the situation. I'll just take... Like, you could, like if you have a red deck, you should be able to get rid of their guys. So, Rip science. Oh, that's sad. Oh, boy. <coughs> I hope that's not too abrasive. Uh, I know this mic is like... Uh, super focused, right? So it's like right in this area is where it's going to focus. And like if I'm outside of that, I think it's very hard for you guys to hear me that well. So um, hopefully that's the case with the coughing. All right, we'll just take a seismic shift now. You know what? I'll put the bombard. I'll, I'll put the bombardment in the deck, all right? We'll do it. We'll bombard faces. I ain't too proud of bombard. I wonder if this guy's good enough it's just a 2-2 two -two with haste. 2-2 two -two for 3 with haste. It might actually be fine. Any other goblins and it's just great. It also... It's another goblin to sacrifice for Barrage. Bombardment can kill turtles? I don't know what that means. Don't be telling people who don't who don't actually know that I'm a flat earther, because that is weird and I'm not a flat earther. Don't be telling people that when they don't know that I'm actually not that. Cause I'm pretty sure Josh e. Kel might have just believed you right there. How does bombardment Oh bombardment? I thought you said barrage for a second. I was like, how does Goblin Barrage kill the turtle. Yeah, okay. I mean, you... I mean, it tries to. It's physically possible. Uh, return an artifact from your graveyard in your hand. You cast this next one. This is probably fine for our deck in the long run. Oh my god, a flat earning mouth. Why would we need that? Oh my god. This card's actually good. It just gets real big real fast. And if you have artifacts in your yard, you get to draw things. I'm going to I'm going to take this. Uh if there was a good removal spell like Wizards the one that deals 3 or Wizards Lightning, I guess it's called, um I'd probably take something like that over this. Uh, if there was like a good rare that I was I, I would open, but I don't I don't actually know how to do that, uh, like a Lyra or a Karn, I would take that over this guy. But uh, oh, we get past the Nevra. That's actually pretty okay. Also, a Shivan Fire we have to pass. That's pretty sad. But I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the Ever here. 
Radiant Lightning Count is at four. That is actually pretty hilarious. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take the ever here. I'm going to forever take this. Wow, that was terrible, guys. I'm sorry. Oh my god, this coaster has to, like, it has, something has to change. As a coaster, your, your job should literally not include being picked up when someone lifts their drink. That is like your soul, your soul job is to absorb the liquid and not accumulate it on your, on your, on your butt, on your coaster butt. It's a pretty easy pick. I'm going to assume everyone knows why I'm taking this card. Um, I'm not, so I'm not, I'm not overwhelmed by this card. Don't get me wrong, but it's a four, four lifelink for, for six that can have a much higher tough, uh, a much higher power. So, you know, I don't think, I don't think it's an end all be all by any means, but I think it's good. <coughs> I remember the days <clears throat> when I could stream and, uh, didn't, didn't really actually sound or feel like this. They feel like only yesterday guys. They feel like only yesterday. Oh, seal away. That's pretty good. And a shiv and fire. Oh, that's pretty good. All right. I think it's got to be seal away, right? God, this is the second shiv and fire we passed, but I think seal away is significantly better. Uh, so I'm not going to feel bad about that. Come sail away with me. I say, come sail away. Come sail away. Come sail away with me. So I think I figured out that I opened about 93 packs of Dominaria in real life. Oh, another Dan Danith Danitha. And uh, I got zero Lyras, zero Karns, and one Teferi. And uh, that's comical to me. How is it possible to draft Dominaria only shows I need four new player points? I have no idea. That's like a new player point thing that I'm not aware of. Um, you want to go to the play lobby? And then go, oh, that didn't do it. And then just click on one of these Dominaria friendly Swiss Draft League, single stage, uh, not the sealed ones, but the, or the Dominaria Intermediate Swiss Draft League. Those are probably the two, the two you want. And then it will tell you how to join them. But I have no idea if it's, uh, if you're in like a new player area, I have no idea how that works, unfortunately. Hey guys, do we take it now? Is now the time, or do we take this Skizik, which is probably the stronger card? How many more Radiant Lightnings can we pass? Uh, this is going to be five, right? Pretty sure it's got to be Skizik. And Skizik feels like a five to me. I'm going to take this Frenzied Rage. Because I want to have at least one for things like this, or this, or Danitha. I think it's actually pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, once once you say schism in the chat, it's like, oh, all right, well, let's do that then. Let's schism. Another goblin war chief. Boy, they can make each other cheaper. I'm just gonna take the other war chief. I could care less about the two two for two for one. I don't know. Also, full full disclosure. I am sick, so if I start saying nonsense, that's why. I'm going to take this Radiant Lightning, guys. How do you feel about that? Dingus Egg. Market. Market six, buddy. I would have liked a second memorial. I think that's pretty good, but... <coughs> um, I don't think we need it. What was the other thing? There was another card in there that I wouldn't, wouldn't have minded take. Oh, wow! Is this a... This Shivan Fire tabled? Good gravy. That's un unbelievable. 
I'll take the charge. I don't think we're going to play elephant. Oh, that's that's a playable gentleman. And you can go in the sixth spot. I Guzzle a bottle of NyQuil. Oh, well, that's not a stipulation. That's what's known as a suicide. Um, I also have some non-drowsy daytime. It's Publix brand, which I'm, I'm fine with. And uh, I just took some before the stream to, to be in my best my best shape. Oh, the old Yawgmoth's Vile Offering. Well, no, no Planeswalkers. That's good. Mm, it's not good, but, you know, it's mediocre. It's probably Joyra's Familiar, I guess. I don't think it's a second Chronicler. It's probably just Familiar here. I don't even like this guy. Yeah, I'll just take Chronicler. Or, uh, Familiar. I think it's probably better than Sergeant at Arms. That pack was not very good. Okay, you don't have to be all loud about things. I don't know if I like Dub that much, I'll be honest with you. I think it's probably one of my least favorite. But it might be worth having one, especially with a Tiana. The problem is... Don't they just kill Tiana? <laughs> Off-brand medication stream. I'm in. All right, so it's either it's either Mesa Unicorn or Dub here. Pivot into Wizards and take the counter spell. Probably not correct, but I see where you're going with that. I think it's Unicorn. Oh, Squee actually seems pretty okay here. I kind of like that. Squee's actually surprisingly obnoxious to deal with in this format. I'm going to take the Squee. Oh, Champion of the Flame. All right. Oh, Fire Fist Adept. How many Wizards do we have? Like one? That's sad. <coughs> so if we happen to play our 1-3 for two mana before we play that guy, well, that guy's not going to do anything for us. Let's be real. Let's take the Blessed Light. Uh, Short Sword is actually a card I'll play. I could see Avon Century. We have 16 creatures, though. Hmm. Short Sword is historic. It triggers Serra Disciple. We can get it back with Daring Archaeologist if it dies. We can sack it to Barrage. I think it's probably Short Sword here. Jousting Lance, also an option. Dub, also an option. Fiery in Late Fiery Intervention, also an option. All right. Oh, I have no idea if I'll be going to Orlando GP in August. I mean, maybe. It's close enough. If I'm still here. <sighs> this pack is actually surprisingly tricky. I don't think we need a Fiery Intervention in this deck. We have Intervention. We have Shiv and Fire. We have... Barrage, we have Blessed Light, and we have Seal Away. We have a, a good amount of removal. I think I'd rather just have the dub. Or the Lance. Lance is expensive to... I'll just take the dub. Mm, Kelton Raider is probably better than Rampaging Cyclops. And by probably, I mean it is. Avon Sentry, probably better than both of those idiots. So, okay, we're getting somewhere. Only 26 cards now, so that's good. Probably take out Warchief. Don't really care about it. Squee is just a better Warchief for us. Take Wind Grace Acolyte. We're not going to play these other cards. <coughs> I'm basically dying, guys. I apologize. This is the end of the line for me. I think we had a good run. But, uh, you know, what can you do? Siege Gang wouldn't have been terrible? What does that mean?
Oh, uh, sure. Little guy. Yeah, you can tell I'm under the weather because of the red cards in my deck. I didn't want to say anything, but it felt like it was pretty obvious. We also need to make two cuts, and I don't really want to do that, so... I don't think we have a lot of kick, and kick spells, kicky spells. Wow, this guy should not have come back. I'll take him. Because at worst, it's like a... It shoots a one. I could see cutting Bombardment because I don't like it. Now I gotta cut one more thing. I'm actually not a huge fan of Knight of New Benalia, but... I don't even know what the Motaba virus is. What is that? What do I have? Why do I... Why do I have that? Oh, wow. Last pick Fiery Intervention? Come on. You people need Jesus. You want me to cut this familiar? You want me to cut a little cutie? It's a three for one, but it's like a random three. I don't know, man. It's also a three for one over f three turns. I look like a conquistador lord from Ixalan. Is that good? That seems good. Does seem like attractive gentlemen. You know, for vampires anyway. I thought the I thought the virus in the movie Outbreak was was he, Ebola. Wasn't it not was it not Ebola? Was it Ebola and they just called it something different? Because that's funny to me. That's funny. I don't know why I saw it like that. Oh, it was a viral hemorrhagic fever like Ebola. So was it just supposed to mirror Ebola? Because it was also like... I feel like they were trying to... They were trying to be Ebola without, like, maybe they didn't have the copyright to Ebola. They didn't have the, the you know, they didn't want to pay the the Ebola marketing team for for the the Ebola trademark. So, for the Ebola name brand, so they didn't. They just made off brand Ebola. Also, you don't have to school me on Outbreak. I'm a big Outbreak fan. I like Rene Russo and uh, and Dustin Hoffman. They're a good team. So. Was Morgan Freeman in Ebola? Or Outbreak? Ebola. Was he in Ebola? Oh, it's just called Ebola now. Yeah, he was. Bam! Got it. <coughs> oh, I see what you did there. I get a little, little Rain Man Outbreak mashup there. That was good. Darkwing Duck, nicely done. Thanos 17 and Summer Summer 4. Those look, those probably, I hope it was the Thanos variant because that's the important part. But yeah, that that's legit. Those are legit pickups if you got both of those. Silver Surfer 4 is no joke. Do we have one more cut to make? Oh God, why do we have to live like this? Yeah, I'm just going to take Night of Doom Dial. I like Familiar better because it just has more synergies with things like Goblin, Barrage, Squee, because it costs one less. Uh, it, we can get it back with our Daring Archaeologist, which is nice. And it triggers our Sarah Disciples, so. Yeah, I like this deck. This deck seems good. And we did get our one, we got our one, uh, Radiant Lightning. You know, for, for funds, for funsies. So here's the funny thing about Outbreak. I saw Outbreak when I was young. And because of that, I actually thought it was Ebola. And it, that terrified me. Uh, do we have enough Gobos to, for Warchief? We, I mean, we don't have any. We have literally one Goblin and it's Squee. So the answer would be no. These are literally just two twos for three.
Eight, nine, ten, seven, eight. Uh, we'll just do seven, eight, nine. We'll just do nine, nine. <coughs> Outbreak was such a fun movie. What's why? Oh, it wasn't a great. It's not a great movie. I mean, but it's a fine. It's like a movie. It's like one of those movies you just watch when it's on. Oh, it's on TV. I'll just watch. I'll, I'll watch Outbreak. Like. Um, if we can get any white source, I think this is great. I will keep this hand. Hello, <laughs> famous person. That's funny to me. Oh, well, that's that's good. Hey, can I get a Plains Magic Online? Did you mean a fourth mountain? Okay, well, I appreciate your hard work, Red White Deck. Let's do it. Let's do it. I mean, this would be the perfect time for that Plains, just to be clear. Because then we can play Danitha. You ready? Shuffler, Shuffler City, USA. I guess I do have something to discard with my Kelden Raider. It will be my fifth mountain. Yes, I would. That's not a planes yet. Okay. Don't kill my Kelden, Kelden, Kelden Raiders. It centers the battlefield tapped. It's a sad day for lands that we want to play. Why does magic taunt us? Not going to attack you. Oh, Radiant Lightning's coming in. Faux show. Wow. All right. Well, if isn't our old friend Danitha Capitan, Capuchin, Captain. I'm going to put this on you because I really don't feel like they can kill it. Does it only cost one? No, it costs two. Okay. All right. Well, she didn't have... <coughs> All right. Well, they're not attacking us. So they're probably waiting for their good their good goods. This way if she dies. You can stab oh boy. You know what? Get in get in there. Everybody does their job. Everybody works here. <coughs> Excuse me. We built Cough City. Wow, this is aggressive. Okay. Well, I'm going to put this guy to the back of the line. Kill four. She, she barely dies. And we get that thing back. All right, I'm in. Yeah, use that ability. Certainly. All right, now I feel a lot better about our situation. All right, now we're switching to uh, Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. I got a bunch of like... Oh, I see. You have a... That guy. I understand now. Well, unfortunately, we can't really do anything here. Well, I haven't eaten a cow in probably 18 years, about, so it's really not as hard as, as, as you might think, so. I feel like we're just going ham here, right? We're just going to put this guy on here. 
Uh, I'm not vegan, but I don't eat a lot of meat. Thank you. Kerwit, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Come seal away with me. Uh, Sarah, I don't believe that you're a cow. I feel like this is a ploy. I will take three damage. That sounded better in my head. Yeah, I was a little, I was a little, a little curious. Oh, I see. Everything's happening. Well, I felt like we were doing better before. I'm just going to pass because I don't really feel like dealing with a verdant force. So, Eggplant is basically a meat. That is correct. There's a lot of saprolings. They just seem to never end. These are the saps that never end. They just go on and on, my friend. This feels like an okay attack. I think we gain a bunch of life here. Oh, they're going to go ham on this guy. Uh oh. Whoa. Okay. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five. Try to kill you? I'm going to switch this guy's PT. Because we're going to gain 10 anyway, so we're going to go back to 14, but then he gets to keep his, his big status. And so now we get to go to three, or two, if they don't have a pump. But then we have a 10-4 lifelinker if they do. So we're going to take nine. Okay, so I guess we're not dead. Everything's looking up here. That's a 10-4, good buddy. That's a 7-6, good buddy. We have seven mana and three four mana cards. Seven mana and four, seven, three four mana cards in our hand. You know, like you do. Actually, I think this is a fine trade. We can re equip this and play one of our guys if we have to. Uh, probably just Avon Sentry. Like they didn't keep a white up. We're not. We don't have adamant will. Totally no adamant will. It only switches power, not toughness. I don't know what that means. I mean, I feel like that's obvious, right? Oh, boy. Three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, four, eight, twelve, and they're at thirteen. Might have to gamble here. Uh, 
Like if they alpha and don't play, uh, it doesn't matter because they're gonna get a guy. But then we get two guys, so we attack with everybody, and then yeah, we might have to gamble here. Oh, actually, we kill a guy and deal their face. We might be able to just win here if they don't do anything crazy. I meant switch power and life. I mean, that was just a misspeak. I think we both knew that I I know what the card does. Oh, really? Yeah, sure. Yep, that'll do. Oh, that's infuriating. All right, Radiant Lightning it is. <coughs> I clearly meant my toughness. All right, this is fine. I mean, so long as we draw lands, I think it's fine. All right. I mean, so long as we draw lands, it's fine. Famous last words. Oh, we did it. What a time to be alive. Yeah, we have Blessed Light, we have Seal Away, we have tons of answers for a Verdant Force. I don't really care about Verdant Force that much. Well, that's obnoxious. All right. Actually, tempted to seal away one of these guys. We're just not doing anything else. Plus, they're going to get bigger anyway, so sure. Famous. I mean, this is probably not a great decision because they're going to play something bigger, but. It does also keep them off of land. Oh my god. Alright, that's fine. Really? <sighs> Magic's a good game sometimes. Probably could have gotten an attack there and bluffed any kind of trick, but I mean, it doesn't change our our outcome here, especially because they have something. So obviously they're just going to pump their whole team here, or they're good. Oh, it's indestructible. I'm not smart, so I I'm just going to lose that and don't. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's it. Does it, Josh? It doesn't matter, dude. I mean, we have no plays here. Cool. Five, we take nine, ten, eleven next turn. Actually, they can just put on this guy. So we take five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, guys, make sure you remember you mentioned the punt when I have three lands on turn six. Make sure you guys, make sure you guys remember that. That's uh, that's the important thing to do.
Oh, that was loud. All right. What up, Gamma Set? Jinx the Chicken. Well, we're not going to block you, so. <clears throat> three, three, first strike. Pretty good. Pretty good. Might be worth uh, sealing. Oh, we're definitely sealing you away now. This is too many eggs in one basket, my friend. Whoop. I don't actually care that we don't get anything back from this guy. It's just a 4-4 next turn after we play Tiana. And it triggers the Sarah Disciples, so... Or it doesn't. Wait. Oh, it's not a legendary. Alright, so never mind. That's... that's And it and it and we misclicked the combat. So everybody, everybody wins that turn. That was a good... That was a good turn all around for everybody. Everybody involved had fun that turn. All right, now everybody's getting triggered. It was a real triggering turn. Uh, I have been sick for the past five days or so, which is why I have not been streaming. So, yes, yes, I am a bit sick. Yes. Goodbye, daring archaeologist. Well, I'm killing that for obvious reasons. So they should be at, uh, they should be at 12. Oh, that's a good that's a good one. Oh, that's a big bird. Almost similar to the uh, Sesame Street character known as Large Bird. Similar but different. Whoa, this is an aggressive attack here. So if you block here, you take 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and die. So let's see if you're alive. I don't think you're alive. I think you can block the 4, 3, and take 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You're dead. You're dead. This is, this is death. I don't think Radiant Lightning is great here. I think our deck is good. I'm just going to submit and not care. <coughs> Excuse me as usual. Sorry for my...
Oh, right, that was just game one. Wow, I like that they didn't know that that was game, like... I guess they thought it was game three. Here's a, here's a pickup I got yesterday. It's probably going to be very green. Because of the green screen. It's a little... It's a little Avengers 196 8.0. It's not... It wasn't expensive. It was just a cheap book. First appearance of the Taskmaster. In case anyone's curious. And, uh... Taskmaster's not a super, like... It's not really a super popular character, but I, I've always liked the Taskmaster, so... Uh, Moon Knight's first appearance was Werewolf by Night, number 32, I believe. Yeah, Werewolf by Night, number 32. Which is on my list, actually. Uh, it's just a little more pricey than uh, some, other, some other books, so... Guys, <clears throat> hold on one second. I have a message message from Bank of America in my spam folder. Hold on. This might be important. It is my modest obligation to write you this letter as regards the authorization of your owed payment through our most respected financial financial institution. In 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 quote in uh in parentheses Bank of America. I am Mr. Jeff Anderson, Transfer Inspection Officer, Foreign Operations Department, Bank of America. The British government in conjunction with us government I guess that's U.S. government, World Bank, United Nations Organization on Foreign Payment Matters, has empowered my bank, after much consultation and consideration, to handle all foreign payments and release them to their appropriate beneficiaries with the help of a representative from Federal Reserve Bank of New York. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, let me let me let my opponent resolve this, and then I'll kill it, and then we'll just go to our turn. As the newly appointed accredited international paying bank, we have been instructed by the world governing body together with the Committee on International Debt Reconciliation Department to release your overdue funds with immediate effect. Oh, this is great. With this exclusive video tr vide, vid, vide, v -I -D -E, transaction number, I, I can't give you the transaction number because this is probably uh, an awesome opportunity for me and I don't want you guys to steal my transaction number. Um, be informed that we have verified your payment file as directed to us and your name is next on the list of our outstanding fund beneficiaries to receive their payment. Be advised that because of too many fund beneficiaries, you are entitled to receive the sum of $14.5 million. $500,000 only. Oh, as to enable us to pay other beneficiaries. Of course, of course. I don't want to, I don't want to get greedy or anything. Um... To facilitate with this process of the transaction, kindly reconfirm the following information below. And I guess they just need full name, full address, contact phone, profession, age, and marital status, any valid form of identification, bank name, bank address, account number, account name, SWIFT code, and routing number. Wow, that seems like really easy. I, Guys, today is my lucky day. Things are looking up. <sighs> Actually, this could be Mike's British government plan. That is an interesting prospect, my friend. I play Dan at the first because I think Squee is like, I don't care. Oh, I'm so this card is so good. It's not that good though. I just want to kill it every time I see it. Makes me sound real violent. I just want to kill it every time I see it. You guys know why Frank stopped streaming? Yeah, he uh, he won like the the British government's lottery, or something. Oh, I love discarding Squee here. I'll love it even more if I hit a land. We did not hit a land.
Yeah, you play Squee last because you can get other value out of him somehow. I'm about to blow my nose in a second here, guys. I will turn off the camera and the mic when I blow my nose so you guys don't have to listen to it. I'll do it right now, actually. And we're done. All right. I wonder if we block here. This feels like a fine trade. I do like our lifelink, though. And if they have any trick, it's bad for us. I'll just take four. We also have Blessed Light if we hit a land. All right, that's probably going to get hit. Can you say squee repeatedly in an ASL? Squee, 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 squee. Like that? Can we do that? Uh... Okay, John Graham Doe, you're getting a little excited here. It's Oh my god, I'm, I'm losing it right now. Is... I'm trying not to laugh because laughing is still difficult as a sick person, but... Um, I don't actually know. What the play is here. We have tons of options. If they didn't have any, if they didn't, if all these things didn't have first strike, I think it'd be in better shape. I kind of like dub, but it's the only thing we can do. So I'm kind of leaning towards Blessed Light so that if, at least if we draw a land, we can play both of these. Or at least dub and squee. Um, I don't, like, so my only concern with trading here is that if they have any kind of trick, plus one, plus one, plus one, I guess if they have any, it's gotta be a toughness buffing pump. I don't know if they, how, how many there are. I guess there's Adamant Will, which is pretty good. Okay. Mm, all right. I'm okay with that. Yep. Oh, there we go. Second white source is really what we wanted here. So we can actually go... I kind of just want to go Unicorn and Squee here. Because we can actually block this guy. No, not really, because the stupid menace. I guess we can just take seven if they equip. And then we put dub on this guy. Seems good. I actually don't know. If we if you guys want to have a, like a sub goal, uh, I don't know what I can do for it, but I wouldn't mind having one. Alright, that's pretty good. Because now we can actually just play dub and not. One, two, three, four. Nope, can't do both. Alright. Thank you. Daddy Cube, thank you so much. Welcome back. Really appreciate it.
Wow, 24 hour more vig stream. Um, yeah. So, yeah. That's a good idea, but it's also a terrible idea. So, yeah. I think I'm still on the fence about wrestling, Mike. We'll have to find out. <clears throat> I do like vintage a lot, actually. Wow, Frank V. Mike B. in a baby oil wrestling match. I, I can guarantee you no one wants to see that. You might think they want to see that, but no one wants to see that. Just that guy, huh? I accept. Melted cheddar cheese wrestling. I'm trying to figure out how that is a thing. You know, tap this. You didn't tap anything. Well, that's no good. If that is wrong, I don't... Yeah, are you... I feel like this was not the intent. All right, well... I sound half dead? Oh, man, dude. Oh, boy. All right, well, 20102, I guess. So. Dress up like a chicken stream. I actually like this hand a lot. I wish I is there is there a is there a sub goal that I could do that isn't uh, humiliating in some way? Is that a thing, or is it just like no, nah, dude? Sorry, you got to humiliate yourself in order to uh, get those views, get those subs. That was a hoot, boy. Boy, car zone. Every day is your Sunday. That's a good point. I had not considered that about a chicken Sunday. I kind of like a, a Michael B. reviews chips like a professional wine taster stream. That actually sounds hilarious. And I can get him, I can get him a bunch of like gourmet uh, kettle corn chips. So like, so he'd really enjoy it. That sounds amazing. Actually, I think that'd be super funny. No blue drafting for an entire day. Oh, God. That's just sad. Nothing compares to you. Now it's in my head. Are you going to counter my Joy Rose Familiar? My Tutu Chicken? Oh. Well, that's not the... That's, that's actually great for us, because if we get the... Uh, the archaeologist, he can get that chicken back. And it means this is probably less likely to get countered, so everybody wins. That card is good. Oh, wow. Like you do. Well, none of these creatures are legendary.
Don't have single paid for one, I guess. Come on, Bob. <gasps> Great news. Great success. I was actually thinking of getting a P.O. box, but then I was afraid of what you guys might send, so. Whatever that means. Uh, if it's a 3-3 three, three and you triple block, I can go kill, kill. That's pretty good, I guess. Oh, orders and equipment cost one less. I totally forgot about that. This is all coming together. I'm going to attack you into the Stone Age. Uh, yeah, Zichi, let's, let's say that. That seems weird. Alright, you guys are bigger now. Hmm. 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 I force you just if you throw these guys in the front. Three, two, nothing. If you throw everybody in front, we go three, two. I still don't think you have good blocks there. Zaxor, what's going on, buddy? Alexa, stop. I don't I don't know what she was doing there. Ice bucket challenge, but instead of a bucket, it's Mike B dropping an unholy torrent of ice from his mouth. That's just life though, right? I guess they just take five here? Oh, that doesn't seem great. I could have also attacked with the archaeologist, but Yeah, just low-key Esper over here. Oh, uh, I also have a swamp. <laughs> just FYI. I also have black cards in my deck. Let me see what these voicemails are real quick. What? That's weird. They're like reminding me of my Friday appointment for the dentist on Tuesday. What did they do here? Oh, they just equipped this. Yeah, that's pretty good. I got float though. That seems better. Yeah, it's probably the cavalry trying to come back. I don't think we saw any call the cavalry, which is interesting.
Uh, I don't think we can cast both the legendaries. We can cast this one, which we probably will do. We're going to attack with you. <coughs> this guy's getting real big. This lady, this lady is getting real big. She's a 6'6? Six, six? Good lord. But we have lethal in the sky. Lethal in the sky, keep on turning. Oh, he, that's, that's Frank. He's singing and he's sick at the same time. And he's not good singing when he's healthy. So you can understand why the situation has escalated when he's sick. I want to bring in this other fire intervention because they have the blade of death. The death blade. The ebon black blade. I think green is also bonkers, but I also think blue white is bonkers. So like, I'm pretty sure all the colors are very strong if you get the good cards that you need for those colors. That is my theory. This hand is very, very slow, but it has lots of things to do once we hit five or six mana. You still have paper decks, or did you sell it all off? Because it'd be nice if we went to GP. So I play. Um, I don't have legacy or vintage, so even if I did sell all my cards, I wouldn't have those. Um, but no, I have standard modern stuff. I always have. Round three. This is quick. This draft has been quick. Also, I'm pretty sure I would have the... Yeah, I mean... I feel like I would have uh, the means to get... To get decks if I, if I wanted to play them. The problem, the problem isn't me having decks. The problem is just me going uh, to events. What standard deck am I playing now? None. <laughs> I, I mean, like, I've, I've played Magic for... I played Magic and made content for Magic for nine years, I think, and uh, I don't think I've ever played the same deck two weeks in a row. So that's a real hard question to answer because like, just I, I've always played different decks every single week because that's one of my favorite things about Magic. Uh, we'll just take two here. I was just watching you from my MTG addiction. I just quit because all the I can appreciate that. Uh, whenever people quit magic, I, I always understand. I'm always like, I get that. I will play this guy. I'm actually going to attack with the honor guard. If you want to trade here, that's totally fine. Squeeze pretty great against all your blockers, though. All your attackers is what I meant. Because those, they're not blockers, they're attackers. Everybody knows that. Well, that's good. But you don't have seven mana. So that's also good. Yeah. 
yeah, it's going to be one of those days. What up, Rectorb? Thank you. Valley Man, welcome back. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the sub. So you can either tap the Chronicler, and I get a free hit with, I got a free block with Squee, or you can tap the Squee, and the 2-4 is pretty aggressive. Thank you. Kermit the Frog, 36 months. Thank you so much, man. We take five. No, we got, yeah, well, let's be more aggressive. 2-1 into 3-2 two, into two is completely reasonable here. Here's the money I saved to go to college. Figured I'd rather watch you stream. Wow. Well, I appreciate it. You know, with the, uh, the educational climate the way it is these days, I'm not sure if that's a worse choice or not, so... Your support will not go unnoticed. One land here would do as well. But, you know. Meanwhile, they kept, like, two creatures, Black Blade, four lands, and they're just going to draw all the lands they need. They have six now. All they need is one more to give plus seven, plus seven. Which is pretty scared. That's pretty scared. I think scary. Pretty scary. This is likely going to get countered, but that means we get to keep these two. So, yep, here we go. Here we go. We also have a chum blocker for days. So, land, please. You got to be kidding me. Why do you? Why are you like this magic? I guess I should have specified. What sick combos can you do with Rat Colony? You can play a bunch of them, and then they make themselves bigger. That seems pretty sick, right? That's a big dude. That is it. Now we're going to need a land. I'm going to need a land here, guys. Going to need a land here. Been away from Magic Series. You still do Laporte's or Dark Reviews. Those are the best articles for Magic. Um, I do actually. I do them for. I do them here on Twitch now, actually. Oh, we didn't hit a land, so we don't get to cast any of our five drops. And we get to die to this guy. Um, yeah, I take deck critiques here on, on Twitch. Uh, I play decks through. I play your deck through a league. I'll give you feedback. I'll make some changes to the deck. And uh, posted it to YouTube as well. So, but yeah, that's always been a, that's always been something that people seem to like, and um, that's always that was always a popular column. So, I was like, might as well do it. And ship it. Oh, this is better. This actually seems good with Mesa Unicorn. I'll keep that on top. 
We haven't seen that much removal from them, so... Unicorn into, uh... Plus two, plus one menace. Plus into dub. Ooh, this could be the biggest unicorn ever. And then they're like, uh, oh, seal away. And you're like, okay, well, that's sad. All right. No Gideon's reproach, no seal away. Oh, we did it. We did it, boys. Well, I guess we haven't done it yet. Um, so there's larger end game goals as far as subs go. So if I can hit 500 subs, I get a larger percentage of the sub uh, revenue that I that I get from that. Um, you know, so it's better in the long term if they're subs, right? Short term, I think I would get a larger percentage. I, I know I would get a larger percentage of donations. So it's really, uh, it's just how you look at it. I don't know. Okay, well. Is there a card for four mana that can kill this that couldn't do it with three mana? I don't know. Probably. No. All right. Man, this unicorn is just going ham, dude. <coughs> Here comes a blessed light. You ready? Oh. Oh, well. I'm really glad I had this Sarah Disciple to get rid of. We could put them to one. I think we're just going to attack and diversify with Ace Deer Glider. If they happen to have, like, double Elder Reborn in hand, it's really sad. We also have to not put something in the graveyard that we want them to have. We're going to get rid of Fire Intervention. So now the only thing they can reanimate right now is a Sarah Disciple, which is pretty okay. Plus, if we put the dub on the glider, they're both lethal, so... That seems good for us, but... Magic's a weird game. Anything can happen. They also have six lands, and we have three. All right. It's one card down. All right, you have to have an answer for both of these cards. I don't know if you do. Single paid for one. All right. Still has menace, though. Oh, good games. All right. The old Mulda 6 never hit fourth land. Seems good. I need a 5,000 word essay comparing drastic functional and object oriented programming languages by Wednesday at noon. I got you, buddy. I got you. We're on this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, sorry I've been absent. I've been sick. Hopefully it didn't distract from your viewing experience if you made it this far. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Also check me out on Patreon. I'm posting unique and new and unique content to Patreon. So if you want to see text articles or audio, small mini podcast like uh, audio files, um, definitely check that out. Really appreciate the support. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much.